and one. Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bubix and today we are gonna go into a in-depth guide of priest. Just gonna start with the skills and gonna introduce you all the skills. We gonna so what they are, what they do, uh, what does they say in Korean. Um, we're gonna do with the tips and tricks about the priest and finally I'm just gonna give a small pros and cons of what to expect when you decide to play the priest so let's get to it so for today we're gonna use our lovely colonel here she's so cute thanks to our lovely player um so yeah let's get right into it so we're gonna be looking at the skills first um, i'm gonna be introducing every single skills and then i'm gonna display them one by one for you guys so let's get to it so I'm gonna start with the second one first because second one leads to the first one. So second one, um, heavenly guardian. So basically, what it does is the power of the prayer. Um, you will summon a angel, a spirit guardian, for 32 seconds, and while it is active, your magic attack will increase by 11%. So you see this lovely bar. I'm gonna use it. And you get this little cute piggy above your head. While that's active, you're going to have your magic attack increase by 11%. Now, you got to have this active in order for you to use the first skill, which is Heavenly Prayer. And what it does is, once you use it, um, within the 6 meter um, radius, you're going to be able to heal 10 people for 4 seconds. Every, time it, every second, there's going to be a healing ability. So it's going to look like this. And while this is active, unfortunately, your little piggy is going to disappear. However, um, you're going to be able to do a massive healing for 10 people for 668%. Um, one thing to keep in mind though, as you're doing the little prayer, if you move, um, the healing is going to cancel. Your ability going to cancel. So we recommend you stay in one position for all straight for a second to get the most benefit of your ability next we're gonna look into is angel angel ray best let's see what it says um, using up 30 sp you're gonna throw out a gigantic laser um, in 12 uh, 12 meters and you're gonna hit eight people that's in the way by 330 percent and if there is a actual your allies in there you're gonna heal three people with 396% of your magic damage and increased um, and able to heal them for a bit. So let's try this out. Um, I have my key here. Raise. Look at that. Unfortunately, there's a 9 second cooldown on it, so you will have to run around and do other stuff in between. But so yeah, let me try that one more time. Hit. Yeah, the range is really good. I see a lot of people use it very useful skill um, it's pretty good for mobbing as well because you can really hit that mark when they, when even though they're far away you get to hit them oh, even though they're out of the map actually this laser shoots outside of your map or your, your your screen which is fantastic so let's move on to the next skill we got shield of archon basically for 60 seconds You'll be shielding yourself with the uh, with the shield or or judgment shield, they call it, and then every damage will be reduced by 11%. And one good thing about that as well is when the enemy five people up to five enemies attack you, they're gonna be infected by holy damage by 11%. So let's take a look at this skill. Um, so we have shield. So I'm gonna. As you run by them, they get hit. So it is more of like a self-defense at the same time. Which is pretty cool in my opinion. So not only you get it to increase your defense, you get to still stay active as an offense. So you get to kill a monster as you not take as much damage. So pretty good stuff. Very fantastic. It lasts for really long time so by the time it comes back up you'll be able to hit that button again so you get to pretty much have it up all the time and one also good thing is I believe you could use it to put it on other person as well but I'm not 100% sure on that but for now 
Because I seen somebody use it on me when I was on my Berserker, so pretty useful stuff. Always keep that in mind. You could always keep on respawning and respamming it because it's like one second difference between it going out and coming back in. So you'll be uptime is like 100%. So very fantastic stuff when it comes to grinding, when it comes to leveling, even during the boss time. Very useful stuff. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the next skill. We got heal. Pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> heal. Um, you use up 12 SP and while you're doing that you get to heal up to 4 people with your magic damage um, If you're magic damage by 200% and healing them for that much So as you can see I'm gonna go get hit for a bit So I can heal myself Boom 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 And you see my HP I'm gonna hit that heal button and then voila Voila it goes up And they only use up only 12% uh, 12 HP SP which is fantastic because your total is always gonna be 100 so you could literally just spam it and then you'll be up in no time so heal is one of the really benefit about the priest is that you don't really use up a lot of potions which is fantastic because this game does not have an MP system so you don't even have to use MP all you have to do is attack attack to get your SP back up and then once you're back up just hit that Q button for heal and you're right back to go and then so you could basically rinse and repeat which is fantastic um, next skill we're gonna look into is holy cross um, basically you're gonna throw down this cross down as you can see in this little image down here and basically for six seconds for every three um, for three meters they're gonna be a little pulse and eight up to eight enemies it's gonna do 31 percent of holy damage and then it's gonna knock them back by one meter so we'll check this out right now let's see how this skill looks like I have some monster over here so I'm gonna drag them out here come here buddies come here and they're gonna come to me I am actually in the combat range I'm gonna throw this down and look at that every every time it pulses it knocks them back so it gives you time to heal if you have to let's say you're getting really low then you know you gotta you gotta heal but you don't wanna get hit by it so you could throw this down run back and have them get knocked back so you get some space for yourself to get actually heal yourself and then use all your range ability if you have to use to bring back your SP back up then you could attack 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 so you could bring back your SP up for your heal so very useful stuff. Um, I seen a lot of people use this um, during the boss fight and stuff like that. Uh, one thing to to keep in mind though is do not use this very frequently because melees hate it. Unfortunately, <laughs> melee like me as a berserker really hate this because I need to get on the person right. But if the priest use that and then like start to knock the monsters away from me as a berserker then it's gonna be very troublesome on my half and then it's just really gonna cut down my damage so just be careful where you use it try to use it when you're being attacked and then if somebody is really in danger and then that person needs to be saved and then like healing is gonna take some time then be sure to throw that down and then you'll be able to do it so let's move on to the next skill holy explosion basically you saw this skill earlier but let me just rephrase this what's just gonna happen is you're gonna use 15 sp and while you do that, you're gonna have this explosion for three meters, and you're gonna hit up to eight uh, eight monsters for 96% of holy damage. And and it, it's this skill also does have a knockback for 0.5 meters, so very useful stuff. Um, what it's gonna do is, and then you're gonna go in right, and then gather, gather, gather. But you gotta be really close to them, unfortunately. If you're far away. It doesn't hit all of them as you can see I'm not hitting them as much so keeping the range is very important stay close to them but explosion you could definitely spam it very useful skill so yeah and then once it crits it does auto 44% uh, of holy damage as well so kind of like a little adding on damage to it so very useful skill this is probably you're probably gonna be spamming this a lot more a lot of times um, but yeah when you're not healing anybody when everybody's at full HP and you wanna do that little extra damage to the boss or anything this is very good ability to use 
Let's move on to the next skill. This is going to be your ability to, to restore your SP. Let's see what it says. Um, the range is 8 meter, and then within that 8 meter, you get to hit up to 3 monster for 22% of holy damage. Um, every time you hit it, you're going to be getting your 5 SP back. And yeah. And then once it hits for 6 seconds, there's going to be a smaller, like 4% damage drilling down at them. So. Once I hit them, you see that little light bulb around laser going down in their faces. Um, that's the little dot damage over time skill. Very useful, which which allow you to run around and then still be able to do the damage while you're at it. It's very cool abilities to have. Um, you'll be definitely be spamming that a lot, so please be sure to put a put that skill in an area that you feel comfortable spamming because you will be using this very often because that's the only skill that replenish your SP so yeah let us move on to the passive skill uh, we have a God's prayer um, basically what it does is the God is gonna bless you and then give you a physical damage reduction as by 1% as well as magic damage reduction by 1% so what this does is pretty much is you're gonna have a permanent 1% reduction on damage for all your whether it's physical and magical the rec next one is the, it's gonna be um, basic a fate uh, what it is is if you have an SP of 50% or higher what you're gonna get is you're gonna get this buffs and it allows you to do 10% more damage pretty much 10% more damage whenever you have SP of 50 or higher but once you use up that 50 um, once you go lower the 50 you're not gonna be able to get that buff so be sure to keep your SP up fairly high and so when you're able to spam it you do a lot more damage to it um, so yeah that's it for all the skills actions is fairly similar It's same for all the characters so we'll have to see so yeah so let's talk about some pros and cons about this character. Um, cons will be that it is a very cloth wary, so the damage it accept is very high, so it is not as tanky. So it will be very difficult to run around, um, fight sometimes because you sometimes get one shotted, which is a pretty bad thing to do. But on, however, the pro side is. It pretty much accomplished that by having this heal ability and so you could definitely self-sustain yourself by keeping yourself alive for a very long time because you get to just constantly refresh your SP and use your heal so in a sense you will be able to survive a lot longer however if you're fighting a monster that is higher level than you then you're gonna get hit a lot higher harder so due to that so it's like a little variance of it sadly other good thing is um, priest is the only support class in this game right now so having that you being the only support it might put a lot of pressure on you which is a con but at the same time a lot of people gonna be looking for you which is a pro when it comes to doing PQs or you know just being in a group to do the bosses so yeah those are the pros and the con how to play efficiently I tend to be so how to play efficiently is based on your how you will be keeping your SP up. So mainly you'll be spamming your regular your SP gathering ability. Be sure to keep it above 50%. So you'll be doing a lot more damage. Um, I believe that's the key point as a priest. Um, one other thing that you gotta look out for is you gotta balance your healing and damaging. Um, so unlike other damaging classes where they just straight up face roll just attack 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 what you have to do is sometimes you gotta attack but at the same time you gotta be able to heal yourself or heal other members so they don't you know die and then lose the fight so yeah those are the basic stuff that you gotta look out for as a priest um, it is a fun class it is very easy to grind to from level 1 through 30 due to the being in the range and due to being a um, healing class um, so yeah Look it for it. If you guys like it, do try it out. I had a blast leveling. I actually leveled this character up from 25 to 30. I had a fun. It was very easy, unlike my Berserker, which I had such a hard time. But yes, fantastic class to try out. Be sure to hit that like button if you liked it. Um, if you guys have a question about 
where to train and all that I do have that video already uploaded so be sure to check that out as well and yeah that's it um, you guys know how I end things ciao 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 and one lastly ciao hope you guys learned something today goodbye